Patrick with Midtown Outdoors. Come back. I got a little video for you on this Tuesday about something you may neglect and you may not realize. Well, it's going, everybody. It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. So I got a little maintenance thing we're going to talk about with the Titan that may hold true for your vehicle. And all the back roads and stuff, well, I'll, I'll give you a little glimpse of what this thing's done, been through. Maintenance-wise, I had been putting off on the old truck for quite some time that uh, I regret putting off because I didn't realize it make that much of a difference. Now, this will not apply to every vehicle on the road. I will say that right now. I will say this, that it applied to my wife's car. It applies to my son's truck. It applies to my son's little CRV he's got. And it applies to my little Titan. But, in-cabin air filter. Now, I'll tell you, I've never put that high on the priority list. Never have I ever put that high on the priority list. And never really thought about it. And some people may not know their vehicles are equipped with such. And that's understandable. I will say, look, web search it, however you want to do it. Grab the old book out and read it. But I highly recommend servicing this thing and getting a fresh one this truck has been some very dirty dusty places you know if you watch the channel you know it has you know it's been uh in pretty nasty places and it's come out i've i mean i've had trips i've come back and had to wipe down the interior because it was so dusty inside because you get to a point where you're rolling the windows up and down or you keep them down the whole time and you know some some people like us that live in the south well we've got to have our cool air because the humidity kicks in and it just is nasty and you just don't want to do without so we kick that air on for a few minutes with a little blast of cold air while we're driving wherever we're going or you have it on for trips even you do whatever but you never think about that filter and of course, I know, I knew my truck had one in it. It's actually a two-piece. Uh, it's behind a little door behind the glove box, usually where they all are. Um, I never replaced it. Never thought about replacing it. Until we pulled it out to replace it and saw how funky this thing was. And the fact that it still said Nissan on it meant somebody else never thought about it because 70,000 miles that were on this truck were somebody else. The other 80 something thousand on it now is me. So I never thought about it until now. And my wife had hers done before me. And we saw how much of a difference it made in her van. And I said, man, I bet my trucks just destroy filter wise. Sure enough, pulled out, dropped it on the ground, and it created a dust storm. You know, we threw it down and put the new one in it and i can tell a difference in the way the truck the air conditioner is running it doesn't sound like it's blow i mean to me it sounds like it's blowing harder because it's breathing better um it has to be so that's something you need to look at on your adventure rig does your air filter in cabin air filter need to be replaced i'm not talking about the one for the engine i'm talking about the one for the air conditioner in your truck truck or car SUV, whatever you own. And like I said, I'll repeat this. Not every vehicle has it. Guy at work has a fairly new Dodge. It's not there. Matter of fact, they offer a kit where you can cut a hole in the um, air conditioner and place the factory approved air filter. Which is kind of crazy to me. 
wouldn't come with it, but yeah, we'll see in this kit. You can bust it open, do it yourself. Nah, I'm good. If it's not in there, I'm not worried about it. But it is in there. I highly recommend changing it. And myself, I'm going to start changing mine a lot sooner uh, because, especially these dusty roads and everything, it's it kills the filter. It's got to. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, be out filming this coming weekend so it probably won't be another Saturday video for a while but I will be doing some major filming this weekend so stay tuned for that and you will see that maybe the first video on the next one be prepared see you on the next one don't forget to check out my merch and all of my sponsors